And back here at home, a group of boxers from Ingleside have brought home some impressive hardware after recently competing at the Junior Olympics in Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, the kids went up against other fighters from across the U.S. And tonight, well, they're crediting their hard work and their coach for the big win. Our Bill Churchbell caught up with the team and has a story on their triumphant return. One minute, George, just a lot of punches. You could say Elite Fitness Gym in Ingleside. Y'all are overthinking it. Is where winners are made. There you go. After all, 11 year old Mia Penny has plenty to smile about when she straps on the gloves. Them hands up, man. And steps in this ring, that means it's time to get to business. Trained really hard for this tournament. Competing on the national stage against the best of the best in youth boxing and securing a silver medal. And her eight year old brother, Jax. Very surprised that I won. Winning gold. My first fight, I stopped the fight in round two. And then the second day, uh, I won by unanimous. Mia is proud of him too. And in my opinion, I'm very proud of him and he did really good. The simple are among a dozen kids from the nonprofit the Mustang Boxing Club who brought back multiple medals one gold three silver and four bronze an impressive count they say wouldn't have been possible without all the hours they spent right here training 10 seconds guys and a coach who has always been in their corner no wait on him Jordan Penny owns elite fitness and pushes these young athletes to be the best they can be but the kids also have to show up I did pretty well I was actually extremely proud of myself there's that word again proud and rightfully so 13 year old diamond tristan also won silver we worked hard like the past couple of months and weeks way before the fight they take a lot of sacrifice you know kids miss their birthdays they miss parties they're in the gym monday through friday weekends we travel putting in the hours huge accomplishment you know it's one thing to compete in your local area but when you go outside to these national tournaments and compete against the best in the nation you know, we were very close to bringing home multiple gold medals. Hard work and focus that is paying off for these young fighters who have their sights set on their next national competition coming up in December. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. And a huge congratulations to them. And you know what?